How's it going, everyone? It's the detective back again with another video, and it's been a little over a day since Bottleman was revealed. I published my first video on it two days ago when we first saw the products, and some pretty crazy stuff has happened since. Yesterday, we got the full reveal. The Takara Tomi website posted pre-orders online, and they also posted a bunch of videos and a trailer for the new anime that I will be discussing later. One thing that's very, very interesting and very, very good for the community is that Bottleman pre-orders sold out within the first day. Takara Tomi made an announcement yesterday saying that, legit, they didn't plan that Bottleman would have this many fans and that so many people would place pre-orders on the Takara Tomi website. If you go on Amazon Japan, there are scalpers selling them, even scalpers on eBay who are like selling for $50. You can get a pre-order from them for like a single one of the Bottleman figures, which is absolutely nuts. Do not do that. You know, they're definitely going to mass produce these, so you'll be able to get your hands on one. But this is really, really good because it shows that so many people are already jumping onto the bandwagon that is Bottleman and just, you know, the beat em on community is going to make a huge comeback as a whole. Now, one of the most exciting things that we got reveals for was the anime. And I'm not going to post any, like, direct video clips or anything. As you can see, you know, I just have some images showing up on the screen. Now, it has been confirmed that these episodes are actually going to be released for free on the Takara Tomi YouTube channel. However, they are only going to be, like, five minutes long. So it's kind of somewhat like Bakutech, actually, in the regard that the Bakutech show had episodes releasing on the Sega Toys, you know, Bakutech YouTube channel, and they were also only like four to five minutes long. Nonetheless, I'm really excited because the animation honestly looks really fluent. The character designs are super wacky and out of the ordinary. You can see this guy right here is the guy that uses the Aqua Sports uh, Bottle Man, and the guy that we just saw before with the red and, uh, the red and green hair, that was definitely the Kolomaru, uh, the guy who uses Kolomaru, and this is honestly just really exciting. I will be posting links down below to the Takara Tomi uh, YouTube channels so that you can actually go. I think like their three most recent videos are Bottleman related. And this is honestly really, really cool. You know, of course, it makes sense that they're starting small with the budget because the beat em on show actually didn't do too well outside of Japan, you know, they had uh when you when you watch like beat em on fire blast they really only showed up in like i think canada and that's where all the episodes came from and even with battle beat em on you know fire spirits the english dub was canned and they didn't even do an official sub for it crash beat em on never got imported and remade by hasbro and yeah it makes sense that they're sm they're starting off you know smaller scale with the anime but I'm still really looking forward to it because the animation looks really nice and it kind of reminds me of a mix between battle and crossfight, especially this shot right here with what is our main character, you know, holding up his Kolomaru ready to do a big shot. That looks really great. Uh, we also got a few different promotional trailers for the Bottleman and you can just see from this image alone, like they look really good. They look so good. You know, the clear cores, uh, amazing. And I actually learned that it's that the green one here is actually not Geo Clock, it's Geo Kuroku. Um, you know, it was just a bad translation. That's kind of like the 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 English for it, I guess, or uh, Geo Kurok, I think is how it's spelled. You'll see it later in the video. I have some screenshots here, but yeah, you can see Kolomaru, and he honestly looks so much better. It looks like these stickers actually have a metallic finish to them, which some people will like. Some people won't. I don't like stickers that much, but those honestly do look really cool. There was like a legit a five minute video, I think, just showing off the actual battle set. You can see the pins uh, are not really pins anymore. I guess they're just bottles, which is really super duper cool. The actual like arena set and that set was actually on Amazon Japan and it also sold out. You can see another view of them here. You know, Aqua Sports is the blue one. Of course, Kolomaru, the red one, and Gyo Kurok is the green one. And I still love Gyo Kurok the most. He is still the coolest one. You know, the samurai with the swords as the barrels. You can see here, they kind of had some demos of all of them. They showed off the power the power wing features on Kolomaru. They showed off the barrel for Gyo Kurok. And they also showed off the Aqua Sports magazine. You can see 
Dio Kurok right there. So that's, I guess, the correct spelling. And it definitely, it's definitely a bit cooler than Geo Clock. And what's also really cool is that, you know, Cola Mario was inspired by the whole drink theme, but apparently Geo Kurok is actually the name of a specific Japanese green tea. So that's really cool. We also got some demos of the Switch games. I know I'm just, I'm doing this all in one take, but this is honestly so exciting. I'm really hoping you can hear my excitement right now. The Switch thing actually looks really cool. Now, it's actually not a game. It's a code. So what you're most likely going to have to do is you're going to have to input a code into the Switch uh, that you get from purchasing the Battle Arena set, and that is how you can unlock the game. And that is honestly really, really cool. So yes, like I suspected, it's not like a full-fledged game. Even if it did have a cartridge of some sorts, you know, I doubt that it would have been actually like a full, you know, first-party game. But this honestly looks super cool. You can see some screenshots from the actual game itself. These cool little pins with like these skeleton or these skulls on them, which is super cool. It shows that you can hit them. You know, you can do two-player mode. There's also a mode where the where one person controls how the pins move and the other person shoots at them you can see here this appears to be kind of like one of the main villains of the game it would honestly be super cool if we got an actual bottle man that was this big you know you can see this small little dude right up in there but honestly though um these review these reveals have been insane of course the fact that bottle man has been selling out everywhere that is honestly just amazing so cool to know that so many people are behind this idea, and I really hope that this is kind of like the resurgence for the beat -em on fandom, and that everyone who is a fan of beat -em on kind of just starts coming out and getting the bottle in. Uh, these all look super, super cool. Even the Switch game looks kind of cool. I actually made a mistake in my last video. I said that these Switch games were region exclusive, but they're not. That must have been the DS. I got confused. Apologies. You know, I don't own a Switch myself, so things like that happen, but I did get corrected in the comments. Now, I'm not sure how the code is going to work, because if a game works region, if, a, if if the Japanese, like, Switch games can be used with global Switch consoles, I wonder if that's the same for this, like, online code that you would have to put in. Nonetheless, though, the reveals that have been happening over the last few days have been insane, and these actually release in October, so I'm really hoping that I'll be able to find a way to get these, because I'm definitely going to be picking up the first full wave. You can expect tons of reviews and videos relating to the bottle mint on my channel, and if they actually turn out to be able to be, you know, customized and such, which I, I feel like they will be, um, I will definitely do do some videos about different combos and such. I'm really excited, and it's honestly just so cool to know that there are so many people who are already pre-ordering and who are already looking for the bottleman. And this is honestly really exciting. Like, October, as it was, was going to be nuts with all the stuff happening in October. You know, a bunch of new animes releasing, a bunch of new stuff for, you know, Fusion Force is supposed to hit LGSs in, like, late September, early October. So I'm honestly really excited, though. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. We had a lot of people commenting on the video I did two days ago, so it would be really cool if more people could comment here. And I do want to hear your thoughts on the new series. Thank you so much for watching. I'm The Detective, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.